Okay, Attack of the Titans, guys, it definitely exceeded my expectations. It was very, very good. Um, now, I don't want to go into too much detail because I'm going to kind of spoil it for you. Basically, what it centers around is these tall humans or type of type of humans slash monster beings and a village that has a main character by the name of Eren and Mikasa. And they're in a village, and their sole purpose is trying to warn these villagers that these beings can come into... Well, they've seen these beings and they know about these beings and they can come into the village and they can eat they eat humans and they're gonna attack us now the village doesn't believe this you know they're kind of skeptical about it they, they know what's happened outside of the village but they don't believe that it can happen inside the village because of their wall it's like it's kind of like, it's kind of like a protection it's like 50 foot tall you know um built strong like kind of a gladiator type thing deal um and they're just kind of ending now they don't think it could happen now, many villagers have warned them that it can happen, it probably will, so just go ahead and be aware of it. And still, they don't believe it, and uh, you see throughout the episode something happens that's crazy, and it takes not only the villagers by surprise, but also it also uh, takes the main character and the, uh, the other main character uh, by surprise as well, too. Uh, some things happen to the main character's uh, family, which I'm not going to kind of get into due to spoilers and stuff like that, and, you know, it kind of... Um, changes his aspect of life. It kind of makes him want to go further in depth with an uh, organization that he wants to join. And uh, since he wants to join this organization, it's going to help him be able to, one, uh, fulfill his destiny, and two, to stop these, uh, these type of creatures uh, that he wants to do. But first, he has to find out how to do it, where to do it, who should he talk to, and what happens. And, and, you, and you see that this anime is very different. You know, you're not going to see a lot of animes like this that's coming out this particular season. That's why it's one of the most sought after. You know, I look online, it's one of the most um, anticipated, highly reviewed, um, and just a lot of people just really want to check this anime series out. And rightfully so. I think it's going to be very good. I think a lot of people are going to review it. I think it's going to get a lot of reviews. I think it's going to get a lot of uh, good um, impressions, good ratings. And it's just going to be really good because I know when one particular scene happened in this series, it really it looks like kind of like a tearjerker. I didn't necessarily cry, but it was something that really just, you know, captured me. It made me want more of this series. And I just can't wait. And like I was talking to one of my friends on Twitter, well, shout out to Sam, and uh, I was talking to him. And he was saying it's going to be a 22, 25 episode series. So it's going to be kind of long, kind of lengthy. Uh, it's probably going to go into uh, maybe July, probably in sometime, some, sometime in July, maybe even, maybe even in August. So we can see this anime airing for a long time. So it's going to be pretty good. Now, there's nine volumes of this uh, series. So I pretty much know that. I read the first uh, chapter of the manga. It was very good. I'm probably going to continue to read it as well because, you know, I kind of want to get the manga and the anime instead of just getting the anime and not the manga. Just kind of get it kind of overall idea of what to expect for the particular series so i have to say um it definitely exceeded my expectations some of the characters that i'm already liking now are aaron uh, mikasa or I, I probably pronounced her name wrong um definitely the father because the father is supportive of the other roles um even the guy that he was talking to was kind of drunk you know i thought he was kind of a douche at first but you know later on throughout the series i learned that well excuse me later on throughout the episode i learned that he was pretty cool um, he knew, he, he kind of felt for Aaron, and he uh, wanted to actually help him. He wasn't actually a jerk, as I thought he was, so it was pretty cool. And I also liked in the episode of how um, the guy, when he came back from like the actual scene and stuff like that, like fighting those little things, uh, he was talking to the woman, and when he brought back the arm, he was saying, you know, well, did my son really do what he was set out to do? Did he really help? And he said... Yeah, he was an honor. He was an honorable soldier. But then he really broke down and told. He said, "No, they're not doing what they're doing. They're, you know, we're, we're not winning. We need some type of strategy. We need help." And he just, I was like, "Wow, he was just so honest." And you really don't see that in a lot of animes. And that's why I said this anime is kind of different because it's taking, it's being real in terms of war. You know, it's not lying. Like you see in a lot of other animes, they lie and say, "Yeah, we did good." You know, uh, we took all the necessary precautions to fight. But he told it real. He was like, no, we didn't. We're not doing what we need to do. We're losing soldiers out here. They're dying. You know, we're not taking... We need help. We need help. We need some type of force to help us drive these people out. So overall, I'm excited, guys. Look forward to more videos. I'm probably going to do episode reviews of this series. So 
first impression slash episode one, Attack of the Titans. I enjoyed it. Uh, at five stars, ten out of ten. Safe track and subscribe. Peace, guys. See you later. Say another.